the world of nature is being destroyed with unprecedented ferocity by human activity. Together, we face an environmental crisis which encompasses the entire globe. Our reliance on fossil fuels and the impact they cause threatens our very existence on this planet. Yet, despite decades of progress towards cleaner energy solutions, fossil fuels such as oil, coal and gas still make up over 83% of our global energy sources. Continuing on our current trajectory will lead towards higher temperatures, rising sea levels and further loss of sea ice. That's why the need is more urgent than ever to replace fossil fuels with effective, reliable and scalable renewable energy solutions. So, how do we do it? Currently, the two biggest renewable energy sources in the world are wind and solar. Globally, they provide over 2,446 terawatt hours of power generation a year. That's enough to power a third of China, two thirds of the United States, or the entirety of Eurasia and Southern America for a year through renewable energy alone. Wind is flying ahead of other renewable sources in terms of output, providing the largest contribution to renewables growth in 2021. Which isn't surprising when you consider that when the wind speed goes up, turbine energy output massively increases at an exponential rate, making it one of the best renewable resources. Yet, we are still only scratching the surface of wind's potential. At present, 99% of all wind turbines are located either on land or in relatively shallow waters. However, 80% of the world's wind energy is located offshore in deep waters. These waters are generally inaccessible to conventional wind turbines, which are economically and logistically limited to depths of around 60 meters. While conventional wind turbines have been widely adopted as a clean, sustainable, renewable energy source, the electricity supply they provide to the grid is inherently at the mercy of the wind. Let's look at what we mean. Energy grids work best with a consistent flow of power coming in and out. Any volatility in the grid can cause disruptions and blackouts, so it's important to be able to generate energy on demand to match the needs of consumers. Traditionally, fossil fuel power stations could create electricity on demand as they had fuel stored ready to use. In the same way, hydroelectric plants have reservoirs of water which they can release to create electricity when it's needed. However, conventional wind turbines don't have any methods for storing energy. The power and energy they produce is always fluctuating and ultimately depends on the available wind speed. Which brings us to the next major limitation of existing wind turbines. If there is not enough wind, the power output is variable, and when there is too much wind, the turbines can't generate any additional power, and a lot of wind power goes unused, which translates into lost energy. Only at one specific wind speed does the turbine produce the rated power output of the generator. Offshore wind turbines usually have an operational wind speed range of approximately 4 to 25 meters per second. 4 meters a second is the cut-in speed where the rotor is turning with sufficient force to drive the generator, and 15 meters a second the speed at which the turbine reaches its maximum power rating. Turbines may continue to operate beyond 15 meters a second, but will not produce any more power from the additional wind speed. Then, if it gets too windy, around 25 meters a second, the turbine needs to be shut down. These features define the all too familiar intermittency and variability issues with wind. No wind, no power. Little wind, fluctuating power. Too much wind, limited power. If you can solve the volatility of wind production, or find a way to absorb that volatility, access a wider range of the wind speed, and harness wind power to convert it into reliable, on-demand energy in a cost-effective way, you can revolutionize energy production. Hydro wind energy set out to solve this problem and after years of research and development, designed a solution. A highly innovative technology to capture the vast potential of offshore wind power and provide clean, low-cost electricity 
with more reliability, consistency, and energy storage. Meet Ocean Hydro Omni, a hybrid energy system that harnesses offshore wind in deep waters using vertical axis wind rotors combined with a gravity-based system to provide clean, on-demand, reliable and low-cost electrical energy with inbuilt energy storage. So, how does Ocean Hydro Omni work? To put it simply, Ocean Hydro Omni consists of a floating platform anchored to the seabed with wind rotors on top and cables which go down to the seabed. Attached to these cables is a heavy block and an electrical generator. Rather than converting the wind directly to electricity, as in conventional wind turbines, Ocean Hydro Omni works effectively like a mechanical battery. The wind turns the rotors, which charges this battery, by lifting the block higher, absorbing the variability of wind power in the process. Energy is then generated when the block is released downwards. As it does, a generator converts the mechanical energy to electrical energy with a fixed power output, which export cables carry to the onshore electrical grid. Because of this method, while conventional wind turbines only provide fluctuating power to the grid at the whim of the wind, Ocean Hydro Omni can use the wind to store potential energy during the lifting phase, and when the block drops, electrical energy is generated and sent to the grid on demand. Ocean Hydro Omni doesn't just overcome the limitations of shallow waters like conventional turbines in terms of space and cost, it actually requires sea depth in order to have enough space for the block to be raised and lowered, and opens up huge possibilities for scalability. In fact, it opens up access to harnessing wind offshore in deep waters cost-effectively. How much power does it provide? An average offshore wind turbine can produce over 12 million kilowatt hours of electricity every year. Ocean Hydro Omni's hybrid system design means that it harnesses more of the potential wind energy available, tripling the amount of energy it can capture compared to conventional wind turbines. Because the energy content of the wind varies with the Q, the third power of the wind speed, which ultimately means that if the wind speed is doubled, the power and energy output increases by a factor of eight. Ocean Hydro Omni continues to harness wind energy above the rated power of conventional offshore wind turbines, since it is only used to lift a heavy mass. It can not only harness a wider range of wind speeds without needing to shut down, from 4 meters a second to 40 meters a second wind speed, but it has omnidirectional wind capture. This allows it to operate in a wide variety of conditions, including extreme weather. All this means an Ocean Hydro Omni system can potentially triple the amount of energy produced at one-fifth of the installation cost. Now imagine if we had an array of thousands of Omni systems, like the planned Rona 1 project off the coast of Scotland, or the Santa Lucia Array off the coast of California, hoping to deploy by 2030. The systems synchronized in an array with timed lifts, and controlled discharge times can increase or decrease the amount of uniform power they supply to the grid almost instantly to meet shifting demand. All obviously within certain parameters of the availability wind speeds, but a guaranteed minimum power capacity is always maintained offshore. From an operational standpoint, and similar to hydropower, the systems need no ramp-up time, as many other power generation technologies require. Each of these arrays would be able to generate 15 terawatt-hours per year, powering clean electricity to over 4 million homes. By absorbing the variability of wind and giving it to the grid as on-demand power, Ocean Hydro Omni has the potential to provide all the benefits of renewable energy production with the reliability of traditional sources and the added benefit of inbuilt energy storage. The missing link to a future powered by renewables.